Welcome back to Morning in America. For parents, listen up. Uh, doctors are warning about unfamiliar ways that viruses are manifesting in children right now. Pediatricians are now reporting some odd reactions in patients' immune systems. Some children are now ill with not just one, but two or three viruses at the same time. Dr. Krupa Playforth, a board-certified pediatrician, is with me right now. Thank you for being with me. Had we not seen this kind of thing happen with kids before? Yes, so it's a little bit unusual to see this shift in seasonality. Pediatricians across the country are reporting that they're seeing cases of influenza, RSV, several other viruses that we would typically only see in the winter, but they're being seen now. And some children are coming in hospitalized with more than one at a time. What does this mean for the development of kids' immune systems? I think that what I have seen is um, that a lot of parents have fear that somehow their children's immune systems are depressed as a result of the pandemic. Um, and I think that's a little bit of a misunderstanding of how the immune system works. So if you think about it, the way a typical immune uh, system works, a healthy immune system is going to be that your body encounters the, the infection, whether it's a bacteria or a virus, whatever it is. So your body encounters it and generates a response. Um, and part of that response is an antibody uh, response, and that serves as essentially a blueprint for future encounters with the same infection. Um, so in a typical year, a pre-pandemic year, what we would see with children is about six to eight respiratory illnesses in a year, a couple gastrointestinal illnesses, and then a few other viruses, kind of like roseola, Coxsackie virus, or hand, foot, and mouth. But all of that happened over the course of a full year. Um, unfortunately, with the pandemic, I mean, fortunately or unfortunately, with the isolation that we've had, um, we have seen that children did not have that initial exposure. And that encounter with the infection is such a critical part of the process. So now that things are opening up, we're unmasking, people are traveling more, you know, returning back to normal life with birthday parties and play dates and things like that. Uh, their bodies, are, the children's bodies are encountering those viruses in a very short amount of time, which is part of why we're seeing that uh, we're this this entire year's worth of infection in a very short period of time. So really, it's about uh, the fact that children were kind of sheltering in place more. And now we're seeing people come back together and their immune system is triggered to actually respond and react and do the normal things that kids immune systems do, but with maybe multiple illnesses at the same time. Is this concerning? Should parents be worried at all? Or is this a process of transition? You know, I don't think parents should be concerned. Um, it is uh, it is actually from an immunologic perspective, the immune systems are healthy. They're doing exactly what they're supposed to oh, do. Good. Um, I do think that uh, parents are fearful because their kids are sick and we're all primed to be a little bit more anxious about illness right now than we would be otherwise. Um, but returning back to basics in terms of uh, how to protect your children, washing hands, keeping them home when they're sick, you know, something that might look like a cold for one child may not be a cold for just a cold for another child. Um, and so, you know, even the sniffles, things like that, you kind of want to minimize contact with crowds and with other children. But certainly some good news, because really, if more children are getting sick, what you're saying is, you know what, it, it's, a, it's a good thing. Their immune systems are working. So parents maybe need to just take a deep breath and know it's going to be okay. Uh, no need for panic or alarm. I completely agree. I think it's going to be okay. Um, I expect, my hope is that we'll see a little bit of a downturn as the summer continues. But this is almost, it's an unusual natural experiment. We've never seen this situation before. Um, so it'll be interesting to see kind of how things pan out over the next year. All right, Dr. Krupa Playfor, thank you so much. Thanks for sharing your perspectives here and giving us some insights for moms and dads. We appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.